All right, what's going on, everybody? So I was sent a review code for Rebellion's next upcoming game, Strange Brigade. So this video is going to be a gameplay preview, and I'm going to just give you the information that you need to know about the, this game. This won't necessarily be a first impression or a review. Due to embargo limitations, I'm just going to you know, simply make this an informational video, and I will hopefully, uh, granted I beat the game in time, do a review when the embargo is actually up which is sometime next week um, a little bit before the game is released so strange brigade so this is an upcoming uh cooperative third person uh shooting game by rebellion the same developers most known for the sniper elite series uh the game is releasing on august 28th uh for ps4 xbox and pc so the game has a, a pretty simple plot um, and how deep that plot will be explored is not clear uh, because the emphasis um, to me of this game will be simply on its cooperative gameplay and not necessarily the story. So, I mean, the premise is 4,000 years ago um, in Africa, uh, there was a evil queen by the name of Sateki and she was overthrown by her people and sealed in a tomb. And in the 1930s, which is when the game is uh, takes place, uh, an archaeologist discovers her tomb and accidentally releases her spirit. Obviously not the most original storyline. But as I said, that doesn't even seem to be the game's focus. Uh, but the game's narrative and its whole and its style um, tries to capture uh, the, the style of how media and movies were presented um, in the early, early 1900s. Um, and the Strange Brigade are a group of unique and oddly uh, brought together secret agents sent to eliminate the threat of Sateki and, and fight mythological enemies and solve puzzles. So before we get uh, more into the gameplay, now that I've told you about the story, um, th I, this is running on PS4. Uh, that's what I got the review code for. Um, so obviously none of these most of the things involving performance and visuals uh, is not relevant to PC because, you know, obviously PC uh, is an unbounded uh, machine. So it obviously will depend on what type of rig you have. Um, but on the PS4 settings, and I assume it's going to be on Xbox too, I noticed that there was uh, an unlocked frame rate setting in the display settings. And from what I saw, uh, when you check unlock frame rate, the game seems to run between maybe 30 and 45 frames. Um, unchecked, I would assume it's locked at 30. Um, and in some areas of the game, because there's a lot of uh, a lot of enemies on screen at some parts, and some areas seem to be very demanding. I did notice drops below 30 and some stuttering. Um, but the game does release in a week, and usually these games do get day one patches. Uh, also, there are uh, there's a career uh, stat option for you to take a look at those, um, as well as leaderboards um, and three modes so far uh, in the game: campaign, horde mode, and score attack. And all of those are self-explanatory. So, a little bit more about the gameplay. The game is not class-based, as I originally thought it was. You can choose from four different characters in the Strange Brigade, um, and they're customizable as far as the weapons tools and uh, abilities you can outfit them with but they're not but each character pretty much has access to all tools weapons and abilities um, none of them are limited to which character you choose uh, so weapons you can choose your um, initial weapons um, at the starting screen um, but you can also upgrade those weapons and switch those weapons at workbenches placed throughout the level. Uh, there are also different types of traps, uh, traps that are placed around the level that can be activated to kill enemies because there will be a lot of waves and, um, like I said, a high level of enemies uh, coming at coming at you. And, and I, by the way, I played uh, this game co-op with one other person, Jack Mujani. Shout out to Jack Mujani. Um, so I assume the difficulty of this game scales based on how many people are actually playing it. I assume it, you know it wouldn't be the same amount of en enemies or at least uh, the same amount of difficulty uh, if you're playing with two players uh, versus four. Um, some of the traps in the game are like spinning blades, log traps, um, you know, and I found them pretty cool and useful. Uh, the, your amulet power is a special move that can be activated by killing enemies and collecting their souls. 
uh, there are special weapons that can be purchased throughout the level by spending gold coins. Uh, gold coins are obtained by killing enemies, opening treasure chests, uh, breaking objects, and, and solving puzzles as well. By the way, doing some research about this game, um, I found out, I mean, you know, you could also, you could guess it anyway, that this game was inspired by one of the most popular uh, co-op games ever, Left 4 Dead. So that's kind of the direction that they were going in. So they took a little bit of inspiration from Left 4 Dead and combined it with a few previous games that they've, uh, that Rebellion has made themselves. Due to the embargo, I am limited to only showing you the first level of the game, which is pretty extensive. Uh, it took us about uh, about 40 minutes to an hour to, to complete the first level. We ran into several di several different enemy types, and if the first level is anything, uh, if the rest of the levels are anything like the first level, pretty much what it will be is you come across uh, different enemy types, and then at the end of, end of the level, uh, you'll get into a few puzzles by then, and then and face a a final boss. You have a primary weapon, secondary weapon, some type of grenade, the amulet, amulet like I said. Uh, there are um, ammo refills throughout the levels, workbenches, as, as I mentioned, and, uh, and health potions for you to regenerate your health. So let's briefly talk about the, uh, the presentation and the visuals. So the visuals in this game are serviceable. It's obviously nothing groundbreaking. There is a, you know, I would say it's a pretty clean presentation. Um, with uh, anti-aliasing clearly working pretty well, I would say. And there's a surprising lack of strong motion blur. I just always assume, um, as soon as I see games like this, I always think the motion blur is going to be pretty strong, which I obviously hate. And uh, there's no option to turn off motion blur in a lot of console games. Um, but I didn't notice any really strong motion blur, so I, I was pleased about that. Um, there's good lighting, decent character uh, detail and, and, and world detail. Um, the animations do seem kind of stiff and uh, could use some work. Now, with Rebellion's games, this has been a complaint and a problem people have stated for a while with their with their games. Is uh, the engine does seem to be uh, in need of an upgrade, which is why uh, if you look at the movement in this game, it does seem to be pretty similar to the how the movement is. In, in the Sniper Elite games. Um, so that that does seem to be a well needed uh, upgrade. I'm not sure what the name of the engine um, that Rebellion, Rebellion uses. I believe it's something like the Ashura engine and it might be a, a proprietary engine that they use. Now the latest reported resolution as far as the console goes is on the PS4 Pro uh, this game will run at uh, about 1440p um, and on the Xbox One uh, it will Xbox One X, excuse me. Uh, I believe the targeted resolution is uh, 1800p, and that was pretty clear to me as soon as I uh, booted up the game and started running it. It was clear that it was above uh, 1080p, but I thought it might have been um, some type of obscure, obscure, you know, uncommon resolution, something above uh, 1080p. But I wasn't completely sure because uh, it is a decently sized uh, and detailed level design and the reports of those resolutions uh, that I just stated came um, about maybe four or five months ago um, but it's it's likely that they actually stuck to those resolutions for uh, each of the consoles respectively so that's pretty much uh, all the information that I have about this game as I said uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, complete the game by the time um, the embargo is up and the game is released so you can know my opinion. But that's it for now. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay video so you can gather an idea uh, if, of if you would like this game or if you're interested. So thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button to support and hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I upload a video. Thank you for watching again. I'm out of here. Peace. The Lord Harry, this can't be good. Oh!
Oh, heavens! What long-forgotten evil have our heroes stumbled upon here, then? Will they even find out? Or will this terrifying tomb's residence prove to be too much for the Strange Brigade? The simple quest to find Harbin reveals a dead horror from ancient times, awoken and set loose upon the world. Fear not, though. The Strange Brigade are on the case. You've just racked up the highest 